Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. So this is animated, and it's pushing itself along the uh, ground based on the animation. So like if you had this be a full character, then you could make it so that when a foot goes down, it kind of locks that foot in place and animates relative to that foot. Things like that, so it, it kind of powers itself along the place, or along the ground. And it has the walking thing. So we want a simple object with a foot. That's a simple object, that's a foot. Uh, and I'll group it up. And in the group, I will animate the foot. So, uh, actually I'll make the foot a something on grid and it'll make it a bit easier a bit later on. Okay. So I'll put that there. So it's like the front. It comes down at the front. And I'll just animate it like as if it was walking, kind of. So put it there. And I'll move it move it perfectly flat so that it moves perfectly flat along the ground. And then it will move as if it's like stepping. And then back to the first position, like that. Okay, but we don't we don't want this to be actually flat, so I'll turn off smoothing. And it will do a nice curve on that and flat on the bottom like that, as if it was walking forwards. Now we want to kind of lock this point in at when it hits the ground here. And then we want this whole thing to be moving around relative to that spot. So first let's make a tag that will appear there. So we'll get a tag and we'll call that foot. And then uh, we need another object to group it with so that we can emit it. So I'll just group it with thing. And we want to make sure that the center of this, which you can see in the dot there, is where this tag is. So I'm going to grab it and press triangle and that will lock it to the to the actual grid there. Um, and then we want to omit that at the start of this animation. So let's omit that once with no speed, doesn't matter how many, that's fine. And then we want to move it so that it emits in the same position as that foot. So I'm going to use the grid and use L1 and triangle to grab that grid and then move this around to match the center of it. Like that, and use triangle to snap onto the grid again. Um, cool, so now, and you only want one of these at a time, so let's actually put maximated at once to one and recycle on. So every time it emits a new one, it will just delete the old one. Yeah, so it's, it's emitting there, basically. Um, now we want to teleport to that. So I'll put a... I'll just stick that on there, it doesn't really matter where. And these keyframes will set where this teleporter gizmo is. So we'll put that in the same spot as the foot as well. So this matches where the tag starts. And then make sure that's exactly in the middle. Like that. And then up here, it seems to mess up for some reason. And then we go back in, and then it's okay. So whatever. And then uh, oh, I need to do the last one as well. Okay, so as we move, this gizmo is animating as well. So now we target that tag. Let's just, uh, we called it foot. So we use up and down the D-pad to get foot. And now it's moving relative to that tag. But we actually want that tag, we want this to teleport only during this part while we're touching the ground. So I'll actually adjust how this works. Let's put that in there and see if the keyframing still works. So we only want it to teleport during there. 
Aha! And now it's animating relative to the tag. So the key to this, it's not about, oh, how do I get this object to move? It's how do I get it to move in a way that's locked to the ground? So if you have, if you had this whole thing without that, oh, we want the timeline. Without this stuff. Okay, so it's animating the same as that, but then you just stick a mover on it. Um, and link it up. And have it pointing in the same direction. Then you've got to spend a lot of time trying to sync up Sync it up so that the feet doesn't look, never looks like it's it's dragging on the ground or something. And it'll, it'll, it can take you a while to get it perfect. And like an animator doesn't want to have to mess about with that kind of stuff. So this is like another way of doing that. Oh, that's close. Now it's further away. Um, yeah. So in actual professional animation stuff, they use this kind of, I think it's called root animation or something, where it kind of roots itself and locks that position in and the rest of it animates around it. But it's just another way, another thing you can do in Dreams. And some people will find it useful to know that this exists and is, is a thing you can do. Like, um, I use that pretty much that exact same thing uh, that same method for this vaulting thing where it animates relative to um, the front edge of this wall that you're running towards so I can like do a proper um, kind of more complex animation if I was any good at animating um, and it's always relative to the front of that wall so it's it can look quite good rather than um, just playing an animation and hoping it's going to line up thanks for watching I hope you learned something interesting go to patreon.com slash to learn something new every day